Hello everyone and welcome back to anyone who's new. Hi and welcome. My name's Amy. So I have a collection of stuff over um, what maybe a month, two months now of car boots um, from three, yeah, three different car boots. One of those being new to us. The first item I'm going to go with is my heavier item and it is this plant. I actually picked this up um, Sunday, Father's um, Day. Um, I wasn't too sure whether the car boots were actually going to go ahead. Um, obviously it rained a lot, didn't it? I'm so beautiful in the week rained all day saturday and then obviously being father's day i wasn't too sure but i chanced it and i went and actually there were a few sellers and i did get a few things so this planter it's got six daffodils four tulip red riding hood and four hyacinths and um, now i did know this when you're doing a mixed planter certain things need to go at different levels but i wasn't too sure on which but i did quite like this because it's it's all color coded so it tells you um, you plant this out for anyone who is not really into their gardening. Um, your spring bulbs, you plant, you can leave them out all year or some people like to put them in pots and then they'll change them for summer bulbs, um, which is what I tend to do. So August to December, you plant your spring bulbs or if you've bought new ones ready for the next year and then February to May, they should flower. Then everything else. I'm going to pull out in no particular order is in my bag and this actually was a car boot find um the one that is new to us it was the first thing i found when we went there and it was a pound and i really like it i've been after one for a while i just think they're really nice in the summer and then obviously to like use at car boots as well i'm just going to pull it next to me and then obviously no particular order i'm going to pull stuff out um this is one of my favorite finds this little plaque it was 50p the lady had two others um but i only really liked this one with this flower design you can actually put them on the wall but i've had it resting against this picture here which may not be the brightest idea because it is quite heavy and won't damage my lovely sideboard but yeah it's been resting on there then i have a pen for my son because he's just if you've been here before you'll know he's big into pens this was a pound because the lady was selling loads of new ones um, which I don't mind at car boot really with a pound um, just a pen penguins it's black ink which is what his school prefers some people might think I'm slightly crazy but Halloween so if you watched any of my other videos you know I did um, Easter baskets for my niece and my son but not as in like they come down and they find them I hide the stuff in the garden and then they go around and find it and I don't stick to Easter themes it's not going to be rabbits or spring like sometimes they have like sunglasses or if they need new water bottles so it's fun stuff and a few other practical things but obviously the kids keep growing so normally I can't try and find them like a character t-shirt each or something they'll like um, and then last year was the first time I did Halloween because me my sister her little girl and my son we go away with my dad we rent a house in Cornwall um, always go to the same place called Puff Leaven we love it but obviously England the weather is hit and miss anyway, especially in October. Like we tend to go Saturday to Saturday. Sunday we don't leave the village. Obviously it's a very long drive down from the Midlands down to Cornwall. Um, so we just tend to chill out um, the beach or and we go out for Sunday dinner somewhere local. And then last year, Sunday afternoon, we were on the beach in t-shirts because it had gone really quite warm. So I got these bubbles. This was originally a 24 pack and I'm guessing so obviously a lot of trick-or-treaters don't come anymore do they it's more like parties and things isn't it so i'm guessing maybe this was for a party bag or alternatives to um giving out chocolate at your door or something um whilst two pounds for the nine um it got 150 on and he was like make me an offer and i said would you take a pound and he said yeah so what i do is i tend to lay it get there on saturday and then on the saturday night when they've gone to bed i lay it out so they have like last year they both had a halloween book they had they had bubbles can't quite remember can't remember now what they had but i know they definitely had pajamas each halloween themed pajamas and like halloween themed book there was halloween pasta which i got from little it's obviously going away but eating out can be expensive and i do find as well if you're doing like a staycation sometimes it's better to feed the kids before you go out or they want lunch earlier or it's finding something they'll eat when you're out and about so we took just a jar of pasta sauce and some pasta and they loved it um, so I'll lay these out on the table. They're not going to have all of them in one go. A couple, space them out over the week. 
And then again for Halloween. Let's see the one's on. Ah, got it. These two bouncy balls, these were 50p each, because like I said, it doesn't have to be themed. So I've got those because they love a bouncy ball. Put them so they don't roll away. Uh, I have a pocket kite. My partner I've mentioned when we were on holiday actually um, in Easter. Um, we we're getting in Cornwall. He's my dream to move there one day. Um, the beach wasn't really like sit and play on the beach weather. It was quite windy and a bit of a chill to the wind. Um, a kite would be good and I, this was I think 50p um, just this little pocket kite which is really light it's not going to take a lot of room in your bag or like keep it in your car like again like for days out or staycation something like that from the same lady fish all of these out now my son had a load of cars he all came to with the kite 150 um he picked this one for his cousin. Is that all of them? Oh, there's another one. Um, we got this one. I think these are three ninety nine or four ninety nine new. And then he got all of these cars as well, so he was very happy with that. Next up, we have a crossword dice, the popular puzzle game with dice. I think in a way it's a bit like Scrabble, where you have like you make the words. I don't know whether you roll, I've not really looked into it, whether you roll the dice. So it's 13 letter dice, a shaker, score pad, pencil, and instructions, which I probably should read. But I'm guessing it's something like you maybe you take it in turns, I don't know. Like I said, I really could read the instructions. But I thought that'd be handy to take away and but he's not really going to realise that we're practising spellings as well at the same time. That's eight plus and it's two to four players. I think I said that was 50p. Then we have some toiletries for myself. This little Jack Willis fruity body spray. This was 50p. Nice little size to keep in my handbag, especially at this time of year. It's really nice and warm again today. And then this Sanctuary Spa. White Lily and Damask Rose body scrub, which again is just handy for when you take to take away. So if you're going away for a week or I don't know whether that lasts you a week, but you know, you're going away for a little weekend break or something. It's a nice little size. Then more stationery. This my son picked. He didn't cut, I think he's been to one of my car boot trips recently. Um, the lady had got all sorts of new stationery, folders, wallets, all sorts, pens. Um, it was five things for 50p, so that is what he picked. And then art from the same lady. I'm kicking myself now that I didn't get any more. This pack of tough bags um, for 50p, brand new, I should have got more. The little one I'm planning on like using for my change for like car boots and then maybe in the car. Um, most places now are a card, aren't they? But still you go on holiday, like especially down in Cornwall and some places in Wales. And those beauty spots, they have those little car parks and there's no pay. Because you can do it, can't you, on your phone now on an app to pay for parking. Um, but it's honesty boxes and or like if I'm going to like a little like, you know, your local churches have a song of fate or something like that. Um, I just thought that would be handy to keep in the car for those odd occasions where you do need change. I think this bigger one, I'm going to put like tissues and wipes and stuff in the car. So they're all in one place. So I can just grab that. But I really should have got some another pack. I have a book for my sister. I'm on a book ban for myself. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you know. Um, I've got all these books here, which I did in a separate video. Um, although the two ones at the top, they are new from a charity shop, which I'll probably show you when I have more charity shop stuff. But this was 50p for my sister. It's a Twilight one. It is about a completely different character. Uh, Brie Tan, I want to say, Brie Turner. It was 50p, it's only it's under 200 pages, not too sure how much she'll love it, but I think she'll read it anyway. She hasn't long read the um, Edwards perspective one. That was 50p and she'll read that really fast. Then another book, this one, 
On the trip my son came with me, he picked this Roald Dahl one for himself, that was 50p. The last book was free, this was for my niece. Um, I got this on Sunday, um, the man had got like a box and a, like one of those big tough bag for life bags and he was like all the books are free because nobody seems to want them anymore. I had to look through but I only saw this one that she might like, I'm not sure. But if she doesn't like it, it was free, I will just take it to the charity shop next time I go. And if anybody else does that, I have a box upstairs where I keep stuff in and then once it's full, um, I take it with me when I go. Sometimes I do end up coming out with a bag. <laughs> The once I went, I think I dropped two bags of stuff off and I came out with a bag of new stuff. And my partner was like, that's not how it works. Like, yes, it is. My son got this Frisbee, which I'm not going to get out because it's one of those ones where you fold it back in and I'm going to get it back in here for 10p. Obviously, it was some sort of, um, yeah, green thumbed lawn treatment surfaces, little promotional thing, but he was happy with that for 10p. And then for him as well, I got this, it was more the fork I wanted because sometimes at this time of year he likes, although I don't know if anybody else's child is the same, most of his food he eats cold, um, but he does quite like when I do cold pasta for his lunch at this time of year and I didn't really want to use his forks that we've got here because the amount of spoons we've lost from him ending up in the bin from his yogurts at school. Um, so this little set was 50p. So yeah, hopefully if it gets lost, it gets lost, it was 50p. I have a game for my niece. How does your garden grow? She loves playing games and these orchard toys, I love orchard toys. Um, so the idea is four players, you each pick a plant pot each and then you keep having a turn at picking cards until you get a flower and that's when your um, one ends. And the winner is the one who's got the most um, leads. We've got a rocket version game of this where um it's you know that stream that planes and rockets leave behind but it's got a loop and the winner is with that's the person who's got the most loops but this was 2 99 i'm guessing this could have been um aldi or lidl originally because i do know they had these in there quite often and then the last item i got myself was this beautiful little vase um this was two pounds fifty and she said it wasn't um cheap when she bought it but as you can see it's like really hope that shows up it's really thick glass and it is quite heavy obviously I can't fit much in here but maybe my roses I'll show you um these are all out of the garden so loads of rose buds on my uh, rose plant but only two that could be picked so yeah maybe one rose in here or some of these in here would look quite nice and she did say that when the light catches it it's quite nice but I can't decide Comment down below which your favourite item was, whether it was my vase. These are definitely my top three. This, which I just think is really pretty, and my bag. So yeah, maybe let me know which one out of the three is your favourite down below. And anything that you've found that you like really love lately. I hope you enjoyed seeing my variety of finds. Um, have a good week, everybody, and I hope to see you all again soon. Take care. Bye.